Okay guys, be prepared for the nerdiness you're about to listen on today's video. Zelda lore is one of my most favorite things on this planet and sometimes I sit and I play Zelda theories and lore in the background of my day-to-day -day life because I just love how deep that they can get. Now, why am I making this video? That's because I believe we're about to get some major Breath of the Wild 2 news in the next week or so. You see, as much as I love Zelda, I love Animal Crossing, and the timeline for Breath of the Wild 2 is playing out to be very similar as Animal Crossing New Horizons did. Animal Crossing Switch was first announced to be a 2019 release, and Breath of the Wild 2 was announced to be a 2022 release. Animal Crossing got delayed to March 2020, Breath of the Wild 2 got delayed to Spring 2023. But in the E3 leading up to the release of Animal Crossing New Horizons, we got tons of new information. Specifically, we got a whole treehouse deep diving into the game. So I think we could expect something similar, but granted Zelda is by far a much larger franchise than Animal Crossing, so they might even give us a Zelda Direct a little while after their not E3 Nintendo Direct. But all I'm saying is we're going to be getting Zelda news very soon, and I'm trying to at least make it to the announcement of the game title. So with that long explanation, here are four things that I'm wanting to see from Breath of the Wild 2. First up, I would love to see Skyward Sword callbacks and not just the Sky Islands. It seems that we will be reforging the Master Sword from the trailer announcing the game's delay. And I think it would be cool if Fifi Fofum returned and helped aid us like how she did in Skyward Sword. Also, possibly the return of Girahim since his existence is questionable overall. Did the Demon Lord die when Demise placed his sword into the ground or did he escape? I think his existence overall could be debated either way, but if he did manage to escape, I would love to see the return of him. Skyward Sword also gave room for other demons from the demon tribe to be in existence, being that Demise was the demon king. But what if the demon king had an heir to the throne, or someone else rose to power, and the Calamity was their attack to invade Hyrule overall? There's a lot of Skyward Sword callbacks and what we see from the Breath of the Wild 2 trailers that we have so far, so I would love to see more from the first game in the Zelda timeline. The next thing I would like to see in the sequel is a hydrated Ganondorf. I think it would be cool to see an actual render of Ganondorf on the Switch. The last time that we saw a new Ganondorf model was in Twilight Princess when that came out in 2006. I personally love the games that have my fellow ginger villain in it, so I'm really hoping we can see him come back to life and not just stay in his dehydrated form. It looks like from the first trailer, Link and Zelda are entering some kind of tomb that is encapsulating the body of Ganondorf, and to me from the art on the walls that look like they're depicting him, I'm assuming there's a correlation between the art of him and the Zonai tribe. I mention them because the swirl designs that make up his body are consistent with the ancient ruins we can see in the Furore region in Breath of the Wild. In which, this brings me to the next topic I would like to see. The literal translation of Zonai Tribe translates to be a tribe of mystery, and I'm hoping and praying that the developers didn't just make them up to have filler content. I don't believe that's the case because the Swirly Tribe is a massive topic in Zelda theories, and Zelda games seem to always have the next game in mind while they're developing the latest one. I think if time travel plays a major portion in the game, it could possibly even be that we could see living members of the tribe and see the civilizations in place while they're still quote unquote alive. Which takes me to my last topic I would like to see in Breath of the Wild 2, and that is time travel to the past. I'm kind of crossing my fingers for time travel similar to the mechanics that we've seen in the series before. In both Ocarina of Time and Skyward Sword, it's always a link traveling to the future to have a battle with Ganondorf or Demise. I think I would prefer a gameplay similar to Ocarina of Time rather than Skyward Sword's approach. In Skyward Sword's final chapter, Link travels 100 years into the future to battle the imprisoned Girahim and then finally Demise. But in Ocarina of Time, you travel between young and adult Link to retrieve the sages and then fight Ganondorf. I prefer Ocarina of Time's approach of jumping back and forth as you wish, but I think it would be so much more fun to travel to the past, especially for one theory that I have. 
If time travel does exist in Breath of the Wild 2, I think it would be awesome if we could time travel to the ancient battle with Ganon. Specifically meaning that the hero of the wild is actually the ancient hero that defeated Ganon in the past. In Zelda games, we always know or will know the story in the preface, meaning we have seen the story play out in a different game, or it's the current game that we're going to be embarking on the journey. So if that's the case, I think there could be a chance that we time travel to the past to be the ancient hero and defeat Ganon to prevent the calamity from happening in Breath of the Wild and perhaps showing a fully complete render of what Hyrule looked like prior to the calamity. Well guys, those were my top four topics I would like to see from Breath of the Wild 2. I'm really hoping that we can at least get a name or a trailer when Nintendo finally does their not E3 Direct. But let me know in the comments of what you're looking most forward to in Breath of the Wild 2 or this upcoming Nintendo Direct. I will see you all next time. Bye!